Hey Aquarius, I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for what your guides want you to know in the month of September. Any information y'all need, you can find it down below. I did just do a reading for you over on Patreon. When you join on Patreon, not only do you get access to additional content for each sign, but you also get uh, to ask me a free personal question each month. So if you would like to join me there, the link is down below. That sounds like something that would interest you. But let's go ahead and start here, Aquarius. See what we get for you. Okay. And let's shuffle this one more time and split it here for the last one. Okay. <laughs> All right. You have kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. Okay. You have lion, time to act. Ooh, spirit's coming through really strong with that one. <laughs> time to act. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. This is the money path card. Uh, crown, honor and respect will come to you. Honor and respect will come to you. Quill, get back to the basics. See, there's something they're wanting you to return to, and it's not a person. It's not a person. You do have target, though, goal-oriented person. So I think that's you, though. I truly do. I feel like that's the energy that you are moving into in the month of September. Or this is the energy they're asking you to move into. I think with the kangaroo card showing up, the reason that these unsettled times are present here, I do feel... Um, could be because of an energy of jumping around or just feeling like it's not time, I'm not ready yet, I can't act on that yet even though I want to. Uh, you know, that's the kind of energy that I feel some of you in. What's going on with kangaroo? What's going on with kangaroo? Two of Pentacles. That came out over on Patreon. You're, you're indecisive about something here. Some of you, it, it does have to do with work and money, and I think that could be why Money Path is showing up here. Others of you, it's about your priorities here. Um, what about Lion? King of Wands. Some of you, 222 two, two on the camera. Some of you, this has to do with starting a business, okay? Or a business you already have. Maybe, you know, you're kind of slacking with things. Um, this could be a business you already have. Uh, for, a, for a good chunk of you, I feel like this is something you already do or you've already started. But... <clears throat> There's not enough action being taken on it. For some of you, needing to plan ahead here has to do with that, okay? I think that um, you, may be, you may have been in a space in the past where you just went for something and there wasn't a whole lot of planning and there was just a lot of jumping around, busy kind of energy until you burnt yourself out. So they're wanting you to be realistic with your plans, with your expectations. Um, I do feel some of you involved with a Leo here. And I do feel like there's, some, there's a decision they're wanting you to make about this Leo here. What about money path? Six of Wands, Jupiter in Leo. Uh, six of Wands is recognition, um, achievement, success, high honor. I do think that for some of you, whatever it is that you're doing here, you could be in the public eye. Um, you could have a lot of eyes on you or it has something to do with getting getting eyes on you, getting attention, advertising, things of that nature, putting yourself out there. What's going on with Crown? What's going on with Crown? Ace of Wands, honor and respect will come to you. Yeah, you guys, I truly feel that it's a matter of getting out, getting back out there, getting into something. But I do think that there is something that's stopping you here. And I think that's why I get back to the basics is here. The Hanged Man, we got Pisces Energy. Um, you know, I think that there's something here that is keeping you. It's keeping you on level one. So we'll figure out, figure out what that is. What's going on with Target? Ace of Cups. Two aces here. Water energy. It's a goal-oriented... It's, it's showing up to, to clarify goal-oriented person. So I think that what Spirit is really asking you to do is to ground something here. Like there's too much fantasy to it. There's too much dreaming to it. There's too much of that energy, like imagination. That, that Those things are super important when it comes to carrying out a vision. But, you know, you got to carry out that vision with some action. So Tower, I think that's what they're asking you to do here. Um... However, I do feel that there's another energy present here that's causing you to be in this space. What's going on with the hangman? Why is that there? Mystery, <laughs> frustration, and balance. 
mystery frustration about, which we already talked Aquarius um, a little bit about um, the back and forth energy with the kangaroo, like just jumping from one thing to another or starting something too quickly without enough of a plan, just kind of getting ahead of yourself and burning yourself out. So I think that for a lot of you, that could be the case. Um, but for others of you, like there's something that disrupts you. Okay. There's something that has disrupted you and you've not gotten back into things yet. You have mystery, frustration, and balance. Okay. So again, with the balance, I do think that this has a lot to do with being realistic um, about what it is that you should be doing here you know like don't don't put too much on your plate but put something on it okay um, mystery and frustration some of you there's like an unknown energy here so you're trying to get to the bottom of that um, you're trying to get to the bottom of that let's see what else hunger intuition disruption yeah your intuition is trying to tell you what it is that's causing that's causing this energy here because with hunger it's like you really want success but you're not trusting yourself to go for it yeah you got creativity here you're not trusting your skills surrender they're wanting you to surrender to that you got flow here as well yeah you guys got to get out of this fear some of you there's like a fear of rejection a fear of something not working out people not supporting i don't think that's the case at all here you've got love right there you've got confidence really have to go at it from a different angle aquarius you truly do um yeah you know and i think that i think with intuition and disruption like there's there's something about that here what's going on with intuition and disruption Short term, quick flings, endings, time, ice king, boss, entrepreneur, attached, and freedom, casual, being single, lightness. And then you got the dark male card here. Um, this could also be a dark haired person. It says darker than lighter. That's literally the only description for the uh, for the card. This could be someone who's younger. You've got young male underneath that sporty car is youthful. This is a cool guy energy, okay? Whether it's um, a male or female, that's the energy that somebody's in. Now, Aquarius, I do think that you guys are showing up as the Ice King here because you are the entrepreneur or the boss in this situation. You're, you're the person who has started something and you've not carried it out. You've not finished it. But, um, you know, I think that you're kind of detached from the goal here in this situation because something is so short term, because there's some kind of mystery uh, to a situation here. You've got freedom. Somebody here enjoys their freedom. And, um, you know, I think that they have kind of uh, taken their eye off of you here. And it's caused you to take your eye off of your goals. So, uh, yeah, I feel like you guys are coming through with the message about that. What's going on with this? Eight of Wands. This person is going to message you, okay? Look at this. Like, look at the similarities here between these two cards. It's just a little funny. Um, because I do feel that with the Fool showing up, like, that's your card, by the way. I think that's an energy that you're going to step into or that's what they're advising you to step into is just going for it here. Now, again, I do think that it involves plans. Absolutely. I think you need to plan when it comes. Yeah, the emperor, be responsible, be realistic, be wise when it comes to this business or this money path, um, whatever it is that you're investing in. Some of you, you could get... Um, <clears throat> You could become a boss. You could move into that position if you're not already. Um, but for most of you, I feel this is something that you've already started. You know, like you have, um, you've at least taken the first step towards it. But this energy came in, disrupted the flow, stopped you, got you kind of questioning things, got you really in your head, questioning your worth. Um, you have the Three of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Two of Cups. Yeah, relationship obstacles. Possibly created obstacles in your other relationships here. This person is going to move back towards you. But again, they like their freedom. And I think it's more of like a puppy love, childlike, attraction-based energy than anything here, Aquarius. And I think that it will end in disappointment again. Four of Cups. Somebody may have their moon in Cancer. However, that dream, that goal, that vision you're going after is not going to end in disappointment, okay? Okay. Not unless you stay caught up with this energy. Not unless you stay caught up with this energy. So there's a real need to focus on what needs to be done despite, you know, something over here not giving you an answer or something over here just like bugging you, you know? Because um, there's something here where you're just, you don't, you don't know why it happened or you don't know if it's going to happen, if anything's going to come of it, you know, that's the kind of energy I feel you in is just kind of stuck. Like, well, I'll kind of sit here till I figure out, you know, what's going on with that, because that's all I can really think about. Seven of Swords, you're really robbing yourself of, um, 
you know, a time that could benefit you. I think you're in a space where you could really benefit from investing in something, from putting your energy into this dream, into this vision, into this goal, like genuinely, genuinely investing, okay? I also feel that through that investment, you would learn a lot about yourself. I think you would learn a lot about yourself. Some of you, you would find love with an earth sign here. It's all a matter of making that decision and taking that step and choosing to shift your focus because it's really about shifting your focus. I think there is an energy of envy around you as well for the love and the work that you're doing here. Like there's somebody who sees your value more than you see it. Some of you, you're questioning your value because this person's in your space. You got something similar over on Patreon. Some of you, you're questioning your value because this person's in your space. It's disrupting your workflow. So for some of you, it's not a past partner. For like for some of you, for most of you, it is. But for others of you, I do think that this could be somebody who's in your physical space, who's causing you to question yourself, who's causing you to question your worth. And you're like, I don't know why I'm feeling like this. One second, I really want to go for this. But the next second, I feel very fearful and it's just not like me. Um, well, it's a person in your energy, a small portion of you. It could be a female, a mother, um, or has something to do with a mother here or with a pregnancy. But there's definitely some envy here um, because you, you can really work something. And there's someone around you who knows that um, and they're frustrated because because they're, they're not able to do the same or they're just not investing in the same way. But you you seem to have a lot of luck when you're doing it, okay? And you want to start doing it again or you want to move towards it. And it's like, ugh, well, here comes that competition again from Aquarius. <laughs> That's the energy that I feel this person in. So be mindful of that um, and don't allow that fear to get in your way at all, Aquarius. That's what I'm seeing here for you. Don't forget I did a reading for you on Patreon. You could also check out your weeklies over on Instagram and TikTok. There are links down below. And uh, you could also check out my other channel indigo garden there's a link for that down below as well but if this is where we part thank you all so much for watching this far i really appreciate you and i hope i'll see you next time bye